Hello and welcome. Today is February 27th, about uh, 2.20 in the afternoon. Outside temperature is 52 degrees, Sunday. Uh, last, uh, about a little over a week ago, I tried to do a video of flying the VNAV with Garmin's visual approaches. I did three of them, two of them were failures, one of them was a success. I didn't really have any clue why one was a success and the other weren't. Got home and I re-looked at a bunch of videos by Garmin. I finally figured out what I was doing, I think. So rather than publish that video, what I did is I just took the two fails and I condensed them down to in three and a half minutes and I'm going to show them first and let you see if you could figure out what I did wrong and of course be interested to see if I, what I do today is correct. And again, the whole purpose of this uh, uh, video is to show the VNAV, using the VNAV with uh, the Garmin's visual approach. Now you might ask why you would do that since it's the visual approach has got a glide slope that goes out 28 miles anyway. Well if you're coming in from other than just straight on you won't be able to do that and you won't know exactly where the intercept is on that glide path. Uh, you do know what the final uh, altitude is you need to be at that three mile spot but I thought it'd be a lot easier just to have a VNAV working and be able to come in at any angle and get down to that altitude at the three mile marker. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll show the uh, three and a half minutes. If you want to skip through that, go ahead and have at it. Otherwise, I'll wait till I'm up in the air before I do what I think is going to fix everything. So let's get started. So we'll go to the GTN, hit uh, procedure, and we'll hit approach. And we want, we're going to go down to Berlin, K, B, R, G, enter. And we're going to do the visual, we'll try the visual 2-1. What's going on with that? Uh, we'll load and activate. Yes. So now we'll go over here. And we'll go direct to activate. Now we'll go back to the flight plan. Look at the altitude that we need, 6187, which is right there. We got the VDAV direct button. So we're going to set our, after we get up to 8,000 feet, we'll set our uh, altitude down to 6187, see if it works. All right, now I'm going to try to set up the VDAV to three over here, flight plan. 6185, Bravo, verify your descending to 8,000. Uh, correction, 9,000. Affirmative, uh, descending to 9,000. We'll set it at 6100. Affirmative, Charlie, Bravo, 13,000. Back over here. Activate VNAV. The autopilot. And I'll keep you posted. Okay, you'll see that the VNAV is now armed. And we're 11.2 miles to that three-mile park. And a lot of traffic today, so a lot of interruptions. Sorry about that. Yeah, I'll keep you posted. Now, if you remember, we have to be on NAV, which we are. November 85, Bravo, this is maintain 8,000. NAV's are all looking good. We'll see if it activates. I'll keep you posted. So it appears that it is not working. Uh, just like the other day, I did the same thing. It's captured the course, but it's not doing the VNAV. So we'll fly out for a while, try it again. I know if I hit that direct VNAV, it'll work. So we'll try that on the other side. But this is not working. Uh, and I did everything it's supposed to be. Still armed, not, not working. Uh, so we'll see what we can do. Okay, just for fun, these guys are quit talking so you can hear me. I've set up the visual for free. I didn't go to the page to save anything. I just set the altitude. See if it works. Okay, it's quiet for a minute. I'll talk again. So I've got everything set up for the visual three. Well, there you go. Could have known better. And we'll see if it works. Everything's looking right. VNAV's armed. No, your craft is fishing Bravo is turned at the legal airport. Got uh, VNAV set up over here. We're on nav. The only thing I did I did different is I didn't do any save, but I didn't push that altitude button to change anything. 
So I think we'll see, because I've done this before, I think it worked. So uh, we'll check it out. I'll let you know when we get closer. Okay, so far, we're all looking good. We're clear to land on three. Everything's set up. The only thing we didn't do was save, but we didn't punch that button either. So uh, we've got the glide path. It's coming in. Haven't seen top of a descent yet, which we should be seeing pretty soon. Uh, I don't know if this is going to work or not. Oh, I think it is because, well, no, I don't see that yellow dot. I'm thinking it's not going to work. I think you have to go in there and save it each time. Okay, it didn't work. I had to activate the approach and uh, get off of the VNAV. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. But I do know if you go in that thing and save it, it'll work. So we'll try it another day. See ya. Okay, so what I'm going to do, if you saw that, I'll uh, give you a few moments to try to figure out if you can see what I did wrong. Uh, again, I'm not sure that's I have the answer, but I think I do. But first of all, let's set, go ahead and set this up. I'm still on the ground. We'll go to procedure. We'll go to approach, and we want K B R G. Bingo. We want uh, the visual. Well, I'm not sure which one we're going to do because I'm not sure what the wind's doing down there. But let's try the visual uh, three one to start out with. You can always change it once we get in the air. Okay, so load and activate the approach, yes, activate, yes. Okay, now you'll see that we've got the uh, three mile, nautical mile uh, waypoint, and the altitude is shown it needs to be at 6189. Now all that we can't set up until we get up in the air, get up to altitude, because we need to lower the altitude to this. So I'll show that. Uh, first we'll go this, and I'll go direct to activate. All right, so talk to you once we get in the air, once we get ready to get that thing set up. Okay, we're on our way. Uh, tower, excuse me, departure just dropped me back to uh, BFR, so shouldn't have a lot of interruptions uh, on the radio. And what I've done is I've set up a visual approach for runway 31. The wind is kind of wishy-washy down there, but it looks like that's probably the runway that uh, should be in use if it is. Uh, it doesn't sound like there's a lot of traffic down there anyway. But what I'm gonna show you now I don't know if you figured out what I did wrong, but what I'm going to show you now is how to fix it, at least I think. So I'm going to go home, I'm going to go to procedure, we got the uh, approach, I need to hit that, and I'm going to load and activate it again. I can't get to the three mile point from the other way, this will give me the way to get to it. So I activate it, now notice, see that 6189? What I did wrong, you know, what was incorrect, is I didn't adjust that and change it to cyan. White altitudes will not react to VNAV. So I'm going to touch that and now I don't need to adjust it and I'm, uh, I'm going to go, it says above, 6189 or above, but with your altitude bug you can get that to the 6189. So I'm going to save it. When I save it, it now, it now changes colors. So that's supposedly the cyan. That will work. Now I'm going to do a direct to and you can see I'm crossing the uh, 28 mile straight in line right now. I'm going to go direct to this. There. Activate. It'll give me the direct to. Now I'm not going to go direct to it. I want to cross that uh, 28 mile spot first. Fly it a little ways then show you uh, how it could come in at a at not, not a straight in approach that you don't have to do that. You can do this off angle stuff and use VNAV to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, home back here and I'm going to activate VNAV down on the autopilot. Activate that. Now I'm also going to dial in the correct altitude and it should give me that 60 whatever it was. The 61. That's not doing it. Put it at 61. Now what I need to do is go back and look at it. Hello, again. traffic. 8303 Quebec, taxi ramp 33. The call. Sixty-one eighty-nine. It's white again. Change that. All right. So that looks good. Now let's try the altitude again. That's not doing it. It's still 6100. But it looks like the cyan took. And we'll see. And I'll talk to you a little bit. Okay, here's part of the problem that I was running into. 
Uh, I'm sure I can keep trying to mess around with this. The uh, autopilot's got to be on nav before the VNAV will take over. So I'll do that. I'll show you when we start heading back, see if that works. Okay, I'm on nav. I'm on direct two. And I've activated uh, the nav on the autopilot and the VNAV. It looks like it took. We shall see if the VNAV works. If not, back to the drawing board. Okay, so far everything's working. We're about uh, 15 miles from the airfield. Uh, the glide path has come in. VNAV's highlighted here. Uh, the only trick is, is it gonna go ahead and uh, give me the top of descent and descend down to the 6,100 feet that I've got dialed in. The only thing I'm worried about a bit is I thought this 61 should be 6,189. It shows that on some of the other videos, but it didn't do that, so we'll see. Keep you posted. I just got top of descent on the 650. Didn't get the camera on in time to capture it, but it looks like it's going to work. So the whole key is, and see this yellow dot? That means VNAV's going to work. So the whole trick is go into there on that visual three waypoint. Point traffic, uh, Cherokee 168 Delta top, turning uh, left base, three, low end. And change the altitude from white to CN, and then you should be in good shape, should be able to do it. So, I'll uh, go ahead and follow this a little bit more. And I'll, as soon as you see VNAV starting to flash, so it's going to do it. Hey, the uh, traffic chaser, chaser Delta, downwind 2770. So that was the big problem. Uh, I might do a VNAV on the way back, but maybe not. It's going to be pretty close, but this shows what I was doing wrong. So you can now see, and I'm not coming in straight, you can see that. So you can see that you can actually do VNAV with the visual approaches from any angle. You don't have to come in straight on that uh, extended center line. So, I hope that helps, and thanks for coming along, and I'll see you next time. Adios.